Today, I'm going to show you how to use Deadline Funnel for your next launch, whether that's a product launch, that is a course launch, or anything else, because I do believe that Deadline Funnel helps create urgency, but in a positive way, not in a fake way, so people know when they need to buy, when they need to make a decision, because it's kind of like when you have a savings, you're like, this product is worth a thousand, but I'm only gonna sell it to you for 200, that's an $800 savings, because you know what? I don't like to do math. So your friends and your customers probably don't like to do time math either to figure out how long they have until your deadline of when you're gonna close your cart. So I'm gonna show you my favorite tool, which is Deadline Funnel and how to use it to do a launch. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. So I'm actually gonna flip the screen so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Let's just talk about pricing because you might be like, I don't even know if I wanna buy this. How much is it, Lisa? So if you're just starting out, you should definitely go for the $49 one because you probably don't have more than three campaigns. You may not have more than a thousand leads. So I wouldn't worry about it. This is all you need. And you know, if you have future launches, you can just keep recycling these campaigns. You don't use one campaign and it's like done. You can just write a new one and just overwrite what you have. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I have this one in the middle just because I just don't, it like hurts my brain to think about you know, did I use three? Did I not use three? And I honestly, I have some evergreen ones that are way more than three. So it doesn't even make sense to do the other one. Uh, plus you get Portal. So Portal has some other cool features in it, like this, um, it'll do a verify purchase for you at the bottom. And also over here, if you do annual billing, you're going to save, it's going to charge you less. That's what I do, you know, obviously if you're just starting out and you're not sure, you can just do the monthly and then to switch and upgrade to the annual, you can just send him an email and he's really nice and he'll just change your plan for you. Um, I've never reached more than 10,000 leads per month, even though I have way more than that on my mailing list. I honestly don't know how this is calculated, but I wouldn't worry about, I mean, it's never, I've never reached that number. Um, all right, so let's go in and how do you use this? So once you sign up for it, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're gonna go into your website and you're gonna to have to add it to some code to the header. It's gonna give it to you because everyone's code is specific to them. So if you have Divi, which I do, and you go to theme options and then you go to integration, it's super easy. Right here is a section that says, add code to the head of your blog, which, you know, if you don't have that, I think you have to ask a web developer. It's like not the easiest thing to get into. You can ask your host provider. I know Bluehost used to do this for me before I switched to Divi, but you can see, and I whited it out so you can't see all the things. I don't even know how like special it is, but you do have to have this in here and that's, that's all you have to do. It's easy as that. You hit the save button and you're done. So that's all you have to do with your website. After that, it will just work automatically like magic. So this is my deadline funnel now that I'm logged in. And over here, we're just gonna go to the top left and say, create a new campaign. Um, I'm gonna call this the test campaign for video demonstrations. So I know to delete it yet later. So you can put things in different categories. Um, I'm actually pretty unorganized. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. So I honestly don't even, I just ignore it. I don't even pay attention to this. Uh, over here, you are going to set up, this is, I think this is in the beginning when you do your integrations, you're going to set up who your email providers are, landing page. Um, honestly, I, and this is just, don't worry about too much about this because I still use the same email code whether I am using Drip or I am using MailerLite and I will show both of those to you today. Um, WordPress, I think this is important uh, if you use this versus Squarespace or something else uh, because it automatically just pushes it out there for you. All right, so now you're gonna go to Blueprint over here on the left, or I'm kidding, you're just gonna click the next button. Um, and so now you can see that you're done with this section. If you need to go back and change it, you can just tap this little pencil button and it will take you right back. Uh, so over here for Blueprint, we are going to go ahead and say fixed holiday date promotion because we're doing a launch. Um, so I'm gonna launch this, let's say today's the 18th. I'm gonna say I'm gonna launch it on Friday the 21st and or the deadline it's gonna the cart's gonna close this friday at midnight and i always like to close thing at eastern standard time because i feel like 
I'm a New Yorker. I think EST makes more sense for most of the world. Um, I, I really just don't think of Pacific Standard Time as a business. Uh, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna say next. Now here's the page. So here's what happens. So let's say I wanna go to um, prettyfabulousdesigns.com. So now that I put that in there, it is 100% going to put this, like that timer on that website. I don't have to do worry about doing anything on WordPress because I've already set that up in the header that it knows to accept this information from Deadline Funnel. Now, what you can do is let's say, after this deadline expires, um, Friday at midnight, I don't want people to be able to buy on that page anymore, right? Maybe you have a special buy button. Uh, it's obviously midnight, maybe you're asleep, you don't wanna worry about it. If you put a redirect in here, like if I send people to the shop page, when they go to load Pretty Fabulous Designs, it will load for like a millisecond and then it will redirect them to the shop page right away. So if you do not have to put this redirect, I'm gonna leave mine blank, uh, and then that's fine. You can just, it will just stay there on that page and nothing will happen. It's not a big deal. Um, so then we're gonna say finish and that's it, we're done. I know, it's really that easy. Okay, so over here, um, these are updates for you. So if you didn't update your WordPress, it's gonna walk you through how to do what I just showed you, how to add that header. Um, and the emails and how to test your campaign and everything else. We're not gonna worry about that because you have me, so <laughs> you don't need that. So over here, um, these are all of those things if you wanna go back in and change everything. Now, the most important part is appearance. So here's that website again, and it's gonna show you exactly how that's gonna look. Now, let's say I wanna use a template. So there's some different color palettes and you can see it's gonna change how that looks over here. And then you can see like, based on the colors I used, this is what I wanna use. Now, I would say, you know, pick colors from these templates that don't match what's normally on your site. Otherwise, people won't even notice it, right? So you can also do what's called custom color palettes. So maybe I wanna do something crazy like a bright green, because that definitely stands out and people will be like, wow, this is a hideous green. She must be trying to say something. Um, call to action button. I'm just gonna leave that gray so it, so it's uh, a good contrast. Um, I've never added a custom avatar. You could do that if you want. Now, I always make this full width, so it just takes up the whole page. Um, and I say continue, and I'm gonna go ahead and say apply to all pages. Now, this doesn't have multiple steps like a uh, funnel, but I just, for practice, I just say apply to all pages so I don't forget that later. And you can also see what this is gonna look like on a tablet as well as on mobile. It's gonna work on all the devices. So we're gonna exit out of appearance. And now if we go over here to prettyfabulousdesigns.com, let's refresh this page. And you're gonna see, this is my website, prettyfabulousdesigns.com. Hurry, the special offer is available until Friday. Try it now. Now, where does this button go? It goes nowhere. Let me show you how to, I forgot to show you how to do that. So over here at appearance, you're gonna go to content and you're gonna say, try it now, or I can say, buy it soon or buy it now or whatever. And then this is your call to action URL. So this could be, this should go to wherever you want it to go. So we're gonna have it go to um, lisaseifert.com because we're just doing a demo. So we're gonna say continue, and then we're gonna save, um, wait, go back, save, apply to all pages, and we're done. So now over here, if I go back here, let's try to refresh that page. All right, so now you can see it says buy it now. So when I click that buy it now button, it has redirected me to lisaseifert.com. Now, normally, obviously, you would have it redirect to a purchase page, a sales cart checkout page, um, but because we're not doing that, that's not part of this demo, I'm just showing you how to use Deadline Funnel, that's all you need to do. And you can see the timer over here just keeps working all the way up until Friday. It creates some urgency as people scroll down this page, that timer just stays right there. All right, so now let's talk about email. So you obviously probably want to email uh, and let people know that, hey, this is coming up, right? And this is like probably the most valuable part of Deadline Funnel. So over here under emails, you're gonna say edit appearance. And there's a couple templates you can choose from. I always go with this one. I just feel like it's the prettiest. This one I've been trying out as well. Um, it's a color, a colorful one. But over here, you, 
you can just actually change the colors of that one. So if I say, if I save this and I go over here to colors, I can actually change this to like, let's say a pink. And now it's going to be pink when it shows up inside of people's emails. Uh, so there's a couple other settings. You can change this. I usually like Arial or Leto. Again, these are all personal preference. Um, and then expired. So when it expires their email, instead of having that countdown timer when they open it, it will show one of these, or you can put something else in there. I just leave this. It's not a big deal. Most people don't read those emails like four or five weeks later. Um, so to me, it's just not worth the effort that it would take to do all of that. Um, so we're gonna save and exit that. So here's the code. So right here, all you have to do is click once and it says copy to clipboard. So now when I go into drip, let's say I want to do a new broadcast, HTML, uh, test email, uh, deadline funnel. So I know to go back in and delete this later. So when I go in here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, well, we obviously won't send this to all 12,000 people on the list. Um, you can change the subject, but here's the most important part. You're gonna go here, if you use drip, you're gonna change it to source and you're gonna paste that, uh, what you just copied over here from deadline funnel, all that code. And then when you come out of source, it will be there. Now, if I wanna write some stuff like hurry, um, is that what I wanna say? Yeah, I mean, hurry, don't delay, buy now, whatever I wanna say, blah, 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 right? and I wanna put this timer in here again, I can just copy it, paste it, the timer's there again. I can save it, it'll send out. I don't know why it said unsaved, it's totally saving. Um, so this is the timer that will show up when people go inside. I don't know why those times are different. That seems a little odd. Let's refresh this page. Okay, there, <laughs> they're back in sync. I think it's just the, copy and paste. All right, so that is how you send it out in Drip. So if we go over to MailerLite, so over here inside of MailerLite, we're gonna go ahead and create a campaign, uh, test for deadline funnel. And we'll say next. And we'll use their new drag and drop editor. I don't know what you're using. Um, so it might be different based on those other ones, but I think most people are using MailerLite, you're, like it because it's a drag and drop one. Uh, so let's just say we want to put the timer in somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Uh, over here, let's see, is HTML. So we're going to switch this to HTML and we are going to paste in that, uh, that copy, the HTML co code. So here we go, HTML code, we hit save and we're done. So it's over here. The only thing that's a little weird I noticed about MailerLite when you use the drag and drop editor is you can't really center this um, for some reason. And again, I'm not good at editing HTML, but if we go over here, yeah, there's no way to really, I wonder if I can just use the center tag. I could be breaking this right now as we're speaking, but <laughs> center. And let's see if that worked. Look, I broke it. So I don't, I clearly don't know how to write code. <laughs> so don't do me, don't do that. <laughs> It'll work just fine like this. So you could go over here and try to align center. Yeah, it didn't really help. It doesn't help align it. I've just noticed it will just align to wherever it feels like aligning inside of MailerLite. So that's just a thing. Um, I think that's the same for Drip too. I don't know if I can center this at all format. Yeah, I don't think I can center this either. So that is one limitation, but honestly, I don't think it matters. It works great. It's wonderful. And it's my favorite, favorite tool um, for just doing launches, creating urgency and just helping people to, you know, honestly, you're dumbing it down for them. You're doing the math, right? You're like, hey, you have till Friday, which means you have three days, four hours, 39 minutes, and 11 seconds to make a decision. So that's it.
But what did you think? Do you love it? I know that there is Thrive Card and that does, not Thrive Card, sorry, there's Thrive Themes and that has a countdown number in it. There's some other free ones, there's some other software, but there's really nothing that will input it into your email for you. I think ConvertKit has something built into it. Uh, if you use ConvertKit, I actually don't use ConvertKit. I'm not a fan of it. I never ever liked it. I've tried it. Um, but anyways, so my point is, I love Deadline Funnel. I think it is definitely the best. It has never, ever once had a tech issue, which quite honestly is like the biggest problem with some of the other tools I've tried using. And more importantly, it's easy to use and it never fails me. So I have a list of 20 other, no, probably more than that, 30 other tools and resources that I recommend as well for your online business. Leave, I will leave a link to that below uh, so you can check all of those out. And I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.